Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Karen. So I'm doing the final video on Black Week Lighter Organizations. I finished the book that I was reading. And basically, I just wanted to do a final video. Um, my thoughts about the book and just a final question of are Black Greek letter organizations necessary at this point in time considering what we know, the information that we've gathered, and the way that our society has changed. So, started out talking about hair, um, violence, and then Christian principles. The main thing you hear um, about Black Greek letter organizations is we have, we're found on Christian principles, and we have a rich history. Those are the things that you mostly hear people say when they want to join and they help the community. Uh, so basically I try to, to refute all those three instances. Uh, we know that back in the day, black Greek led organizations were intra-racist. So they were racist in their own, to their own race, essentially. Um, and we know that it still goes on today and that they still carry on a racist, uh, racist thought processes and pathologies that were um, that were ingrained in them by their by by their white counterparts I should say um, so just to recap to go over what I thought about the book essentially there was nothing political about the Black Greek letter organizations. There was nothing stating that they really wanted to help their race. Essentially, the people who established these Black Greek letter organizations were really just trying to have their own fraternities and sororities apart since they weren't able to join their white counterparts in terms of getting into their the white council parts, sororities, and fraternities. Um, we know that they were, they had brown paper bag tests, they had the ruler test, um, they had um, other things like that in terms of the being racist against their own race. Um, so we know that there the Black Greek letter organizations weren't political because if they were political, they would have tried to help their whole race, and we would have heard more about the things that they were doing to help the community. For example, if you want an example, um, the NAACP was a service organization that you heard things about that they were actually doing. Um, black Greek led organizations did contribute to various things around the community, but um, I truly believe that they were not a political, it wasn't to make a political statement, it was just to make a group for themselves because they couldn't get into their white counterparts, fraternities and sororities, and that's what I believe. Um, and we know that black Greek organizations are way more violent than their white counterparts based upon the trauma that black individuals have faced in this country for at least 400 plus years of slavery. Um, and so if black Greek organizations are more violent in terms of hazing the, and with the initiation process, is, are we really helping the community or harming the community? I think we're harming the community. I think we also create certain rifts in between in our own race because of these black Greek letter organizations. And I'm just not sure about the foundation of these black Greek letter organizations to tell you the truth. So basically it wasn't political, so we know that they really weren't trying to um better the whole race but trying to secure their own spot in society, number one. Um, in terms of Christian principles, we know that they weren't based on Christian principles because a lot of the initiation process is a lot of ritualistic things derived from secret societies which have nothing to do with Christianity 
and the way Christians go about doing things in Christian principles, because Christianity, we know, is definitely not a secret um, society. And so I don't know how it could be built on Christian, a Christian foundation if they have, um, if they have secret society mixed in with all of that as well. Um, and the, I think those are it, violence, community, violence in terms of helping the community carry on, carrying on racist ideas that were ingrained in them by their white counterparts. I don't think it's helping the community at all. I mean, if you want to help the community, you can start your own community service organization and help the community. You don't need to join a fraternity or sorority. So, I'm just not convinced that black Greek letter organizations really are helping the black community. I think it's harming more than helping. Now, if the black Greek letter organizations decided to change certain things within their organizations, then things would be different. But at this point in time... There's nothing that can really be said about Black Greek letter organizations and their Christian foundation. The violence amongst us that it creates and carrying on, carrying on intra racist ideas. So, just wanted to close that up. It the book really gave me gave me insight on on why there's so much violence and just the trauma that Black Black men and Black people have gone through which creates the, the violence within these fraternities and sororities. Um, there was even one person in the book that said that if you wanted to join a black fraternity or sorority that, and you don't want to get hazed, which means like physically re beaten or have something, some type of physical violence enacted upon you, that you should join some something like the NAACP. Which is what I said. Um, so that is my conclusion on the Black Week Letter organizations. I do believe that um, things need to be changed within the organizations, and it's not more. It's not really about helping the community, but it's more so about. Um, being so or being popular um those are my thoughts on the book the book is called black haze by ricky jones if you guys want to read it it's a really good read and this is my final video of my thoughts all right guys and and also just the role that society plays as well within these organizations and how it shaped the idea of the intra-racist things that I was saying before. The violence in between us, each other. Like, So, that's all for this conclusion of Black Week Letter Organizations. Um, I had I did something on it last February, but then we, we revisited it. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Okay, bye. And wearing my natural hair. I think this is the first video I'm actually wearing my natural hair out. So I think it was fitting to conclude with natural hair with terms of the Black Week Letter Organizations.